Greetings, everyone. I just want to take this time to say thanks and welcome to all my new subscribers. And to those of you who have found the channel because of some current events, you know, thank you for stopping by and watching my videos and participating. And for those of you who are silent viewers, I want to say thank you as well. Uh, there are times when you listen and there's nothing to say, and I appreciate that. Now, in today's message, I just want to reach out to some people. And I want to say that I have been on YouTube for 10 years, and it's a quiet setting. And sometimes only when things blow up on the internet, that individuals find me and some stay. But in today's message, I want to say to you, if you're listening, and I want you to know this is where my heart is. I might seem harsh sometimes when I'm dealing with people in speaking the truth, but I want you to know that if you see yourself as a monster, if you see yourself as a terrible person, if you have done things to other people, because there are times when People see you as such, but you don't see yourself as, you know, these horrible names that you're called. Remember, every human being has the ability to change. There are redeeming qualities in every person. And all you got to do is not confess to me or those who you offend, have offended, but to take that quiet time to come face to face, do the mirror work, look in the mirror and confront yourself and make peace with not just yourself, but make peace with the spirit that dwells within you. And at that point, when you have forgiven yourself and you ask others to forgive you, if they choose not to, it is no longer your burden, okay? Because we sometimes offend people without knowing, knowing, and unknowingly, we can be offensive. But in our private life and our relationship with people, when we constantly cause others to feel pain or hurt, there's this impulsive behavior on our part to do something that satisfies our need, our selfishness. And when we talk about selfishness, it's another conversation to have because there are times when you do have to be selfish. But if your selfishness in getting what you desire harms other people, then you have to rethink that. Okay? Um, I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. So today, if you're hearing my voice and you know you have hurt some people and you feel bad about it, restitution is okay. Go back and ask those people for forgiveness. Now, I've always said that I don't need someone to come and ask for forgiveness. They should forgive themselves and they should deal with the greater spirit, the higher source in that forgiveness. But sometimes if you go to somebody and you acknowledge the pain and the suffering you caused them, you know, it will send a kind of release. Some peop people are hurting because of what other people have done to them, really deeply wounded and just hearing that person acknowledge what they have done, not so much to say, please forgive me, but to say, I did this or I did that and it wasn't right. You have no idea what release you can give to those persons or those individuals. And then there are times when you've done things where people just don't want to see you anymore. You're going to respect that because the boundary is very important erecting boundaries people for those of you who need to erect these boundaries it's self-preservation is for protection and if someone sees you raising your boundary as you being rude or you being bitter or you being angry or whatever then they need to make some type of restitution with their own self because that means they're nowhere close to you and as you are getting through your healing, you can't have person who don't even acknowledge what they have done to you. So the important thing in this acknowledgement of not just self and the spirit, but to recognize when you've done something wrong. 
and to confront that, whether you face the person or whether you do it by yourself. On this day, I just want to reach out to everybody who has been hurt, who have wounds that can't heal. As long as you live, you manage those wounds, but they're there with you. Whether you've been violated by, you know, other persons, things that happen to you, you know, outside of your control that you have to live with. This is why the current event topic, I have tried to approach it from different angles and to acknowledge people who have suffered at the hands of others who need healing, who need clearance. Um, I have a video that I was going to release. It was a prediction that I made, but I decided to sit on it for now. But, you know, if this person ever listens to me, I just want the person to know, I don't hate you. It might come across as if I do. I'm just disgusted with some of the things you do. I'm just disgusted with your behavior and your failure to take responsibility for your action, but not just, just that. Failure to seek help and to get help. Because you know, you must know. You must know that you need help. And sometimes your loved ones are not in the position to help you. Sometimes you have to go and seek counseling or you have to go to get clearance. You have to go to someone who is gifted with a spirit to, to touch hand and remove that energy that abides with you. Because people, remember, we are spiritual beings. We are physical bodies, but we are physical spiritual beings as well. And listen, if your eyes could see what is around you, you'd be so terrified. We wouldn't be able to handle some of the things that we see if they were to take on life form. The energies that are around, it's not just good or just evil. As I said, duality, they, they have to abide side by side. And depending on your spirit or your energy, you absorb or attract negative or positive. And so we live in this world of polarity and these things cannot exist without the other, but we are to be aware of our energy so that we don't open ourselves to these negative ones. We have to learn how to raise our vibration. And that means sometimes you're watching something and it doesn't sit well with your spirit up off, jump off, stop it. It happens to me all the time. I'm watching somebody. Somebody sends something to me for a review. And as I'm watching, there's something about it is that low vibration that brings me to this place where my spirit feels angered. Pay attention to your spirit. My spirit feels angered to the point where I feel guilty, like I'm, I could be using my time to do something more positive. So, in this message, I'm just saying to you, if you are someone who's caused hurt and pain to others, try to find a way to not just change that behavior, but if there's any way to go back and correct that, fix it with these individuals if you're able, not just by saying, please forgive me, but saying, I did wrong, it makes a big difference. And if you are someone who's held under bondage and you constantly find yourself doing things that are offensive and hurtful to other people, find a way to fix that too. Okay. Now, one of my desire is to be in a space, in a hall, with all the people that I have encountered or dealt with in my life, particularly the young ones. Just to be in that space with them, know that they have grown older. And I know within myself that I have been a blessing to these ones and they have been a blessing to me. I try to live my life in such a way that whatever I do to those who are less than me, I'm not just talking about finances, but younger than me. Uh, you know, if I was to be put in a room with them, I would not be ashamed. So no matter how terrible, this young one is, I try to say, how can I be a part of that change? Once again, thank you for sharing, for liking, 
for commenting, for just viewing. You don't have to subscribe unless the spirit moves you to. At the end of the day, I'm hoping that my presence on social media is one for positive change. I am nowhere close to being perfect. I have these unhealed parts of myself, these wounds that sometimes open and close, but I try to use my experiences to help uplift others in the best way I can. So if you are someone who want to bring about positive change in this world, then you have to look at yourself to see how you can change you, okay? We're not trying to be harsh with others, but when we tell people the truth, sometimes that gives them an opportunity to reflect on themselves. Again, I want to leave this by saying I am not perfect and I don't want anyone to treat me as such or expect that from me, but I am open to changing and growing. Stay blessed, everyone.